Duval County Athletic Directors met yesterday to discuss practices and when games will be played this fall when school starts. Tammy Talley is the county's athletic director joining us this morning. Thank you so much, Tammy, for being here. Do appreciate it. Sure, no problem. Happy to be here. So as we know, a Florida High School Athletic Association green-lighted practices to start on Monday. Will that be able to happen, though, at Duval County Public Schools, given the concern about spreading the virus with some contact sports like football? Yes, we um, have been meeting very regularly. We have created a um, athletics task force, which will um, we're calling it our smart restart. And we're working very diligently to put in safety protocols and procedures to make sure that our student athletes, as well as our um, coaches, faculty and staff and fans are safe. So then what would the rules be, for example, if, you know, a student athlete shows up and they're ready to start practice for football, as an example, on Monday? What what should they expect and what should parents expect who might be worried? So our student athletes have been going through um, several protocols since we started our return to activity back in June and those protocols include um, masking as they're entering the facility, uh, temperature checks, and they also do our um, COVID questionnaire through a QR code that they do with their phone and all of our student athletes as well as coaches um, have been doing this every day and they will continue to do this as we start practice next week. And I just want to point out, this is more than just football, obviously. This is volleyball, cross-country, swimming. Are all of those going to be able to be held? practices if they if the teams so choose on Monday yes um, all of our fall sports in high school will begin um, and that includes the ones that you named beside as well as girls bowling and um, some of our other smaller fall sports so FHSA has also suggested that games can start uh, you know next month as well September 11th has been given the day are, are you going to be are you going to be able to get in enough practices with some of these sports to be able to meet that September 11th deadline um, most definitely. Um, we actually uh, pushed our start date back for contest to September 11th, even though the FHSA will allow us to start our games on um, September 4th. And we did that so that we could have some extra days of practices um, for football. You know, we want to make sure that they're acclimated to the heat and that they're prepared um, with being in helmets and shoulder pads prior to getting to contact. Yeah, we know all about that August heat, that's for sure. So what about fans? Uh, once games start, will they be allowed to attend? So our athletic task force is working on that right now. Um, we're following CDC guidelines, and we may even um, have some more conservative uh, percentages for our fans once they're um, entering the stadium. And cheerleaders and bands, you know, that may be involved in any of the sports, including football, are they going to be able to also cheer and, and play? Yes, we are working very closely with those groups as well. Um, probably we'll be doing some modifications of those particular teams and programs, uh, maybe smaller sizes, uh, maybe doing some social distancing um, in different areas of the stadium so that they can definitely participate as well. I want to just, just uh, talk more in depth a little bit about contact sports since football, you know, I mean, you're right there in their face and, you, you know, you can't help but not be physical, right? Are, are there any... Um, a problems that you've encountered getting safety equipment. We've heard that that some of the shields that can go over the helmets, as an example, have been difficult to find. Do you expect that you'll be able to have those for athletes when it comes time to play games? Um, our vendors and our business partners have worked very closely with um, our athletic directors and our school principals and our district to make sure that they can provide these items in a timely manner so that we can be ready for competition. Tammy Talley, Athletic Director, Duval County Public Schools, joining us this morning. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. We'll be right back.